uh, this continuous professional development will give me few more inputs to whatever I am doing now. And uh, this will definitely help me to enhance my students to develop their skills and their knowledge. This is what I expect from this workshop.
Um, I feel immense pleasure that I'm a support of uh, in this seminar today. That is continuous professional development for English teachers. I'm from GDP, that is India Virtual. I've been working as an assistant professor in English. So basically in our campus, uh, 60% of the students are coming from North, Chartain, Punjab, Delhi, Maharashtra. In the same way, the remaining part of 40% is from our state, like Andhra Pradesh. While you're giving lecture, uh, how we can justify this uh, the present state? Because if you give a rich language towards the students, the non people are able to understand and they are giving a quick response to the lecture. In the same way, the rest of the part of our state, they are somewhat uh, giving a quick response. So, how should we go from this uh, problem in our teaching? I hope I will get a solution from your workshop which is given by the teacher. Thank you very much. Good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, one of my dear English friends. I'm Nan Bhushan Rao, working as an assistant professor in mechanics of engineering for women. I have 10 years teaching experience, but as an English teacher, we must update our uh, knowledge, acquiring uh, different skills. Because when you are working in an engineering college or a school or, or wherever we are working, the every two years or three years they are changing the syllabus and we forget about the literature. Now, main focus on language and uh, grammar, communication skills. So that's why this one, uh, okay, continuous professional development uh, is uh, really required for English teachers. Because uh, when you are working in engineering college, firstly the required qualification is MA English. And after one or two years, they are asking uh, maybe how many papers you got this? Are you enrolled for PhD? Or are you attended any workshops? And uh, this is uh, okay, simply calling as uh, uh, professional development, I think. Right? Uh, thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everybody here. I'm Dr. Radha Kushmuthi from the Indian Institute of Engineering for Women. I'm in this field for the last 14 years. And this is a most a dynamic situation for all of us, the challenge situation for all of us. I think the, we need to remind ourselves that we are all curry leaves. And everybody needs a curry leaf. And at the end of the day, I think you are going to have to play also. I think we need to update all of us. And more than that, I think we need to update the students also. It's a very challenging situation as far as the medium and other people.
I'm very glad to be my friend and properly in person and happy to be here, sir. Thank you for the opportunity to introduce myself. And I wish all of us a great day today in getting off the day some of the important things in our lives and I will be here to be Thank you.
from Life in India, Parish of Paris for Degree and PhD courses. So my uh, reason to come to it in this workshop is that uh, I want to update, at the same time I want to update my students with what is going on in Iran. So updating is very, very important. But I would like to see the question that is uh, raised by the students. Unless and until the teacher has said that we can't take the students. So I want to uh, update my students. Good afternoon everybody, my name is Gayatri. Coming from Mumbai, worked over there for a while for five years. Later moved abroad, worked over there. Seeing myself for the last three and a half years in Vishakapatna, in Gayatri Vidya Darshan College for Media and PG courses. I really have a feeling that uh, there's no day that I've stopped learning. So today is another day for me to learn something new from everyone. Met my old friends, uh, met my MA friends also. So that's a very nice feeling. Meeting you is my pleasure. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Rajar Ramesh, and uh, I am coming from uh, Sabu, Vijayanagaram district, and I am a school teacher. I am doing 6th to 7th grade. As a government school teacher, we have got some problems, and those problems are uh, technically new from where I am I'm coming. I am coming from a school where the children do not know A to Z letters. Sixth class children, they have to be emphasized that what the A to Z are. They do not know uh, the difference between an alphabet and letters. And uh, uh, the problem is actually the school we conduct an exam uh, for, for the admission, the admission test we conduct for the children. And then the equation test, I had seen one girl, that girl really is uh, the first say she is, uh, that girl, she scored the top marks in the equation test. And that girl now, uh, in the course of time, in the 8th class, I had seen that her being very courteously in all the exams. And the way that there, is, there are many girls, there is one more girl, that say, she got less marks like 40 or some 50 marks. And that she started writing poems even in 8th class. And there are many more students like this. And I cannot understand the difference between these uh, among these uh, students. Uh, uh, I love the backbone students. Backbone in the sense uh, you know, below average students. Uh, like in class call you, below average students. As I was the below average student, I know them very well. Because I failed in 10th class in English exam and I became an English teacher. So I know what the students are. And then these students, really I face them and I feel very happy for them. In spite of my uh, efforts like, you know, encouraging them, motivating them, or uh, observing them very closely, still we have a lot of problems. And expecting and trying to find the solution for this, I have come here. Thank you, teachers. Thank you so much.
consider private learning. But a teacher, we are regular students. So every day we have to learn nothing but survival in this field. Thank you and I have to give you this opportunity. Anyway, 
Right. So, uh, before starting our session, why I ask if you were uh, work uh, situation is that because most of the things are going to be uh, what's called concentrated in the process. But more particularly, many people mention that Telugu medium, English medium. First, we have to address that. Don't feel and don't think like that. There is no Telugu medium, there is no English medium in the micro developing language. Because when a student has that perspective, I'm from Telugu medium, I'm from Telugu medium, that means it decreases the self confidence level. There is no such kind of a word study. It doesn't matter. English medium students study all the subjects in English. That's the only advantage. Regarding the English language, grammar, text usage, it is the same. So, first we have to overcome that uh, way of thinking. We should not think that I'm dealing with Telugu medium students. We can see later I am from Telugu medium education. Until later I study with Telugu medium. Pakka village background. As Sir mentioned, I also paid in 10th class in English and Maths. That doesn't matter. Afterwards, what he learned, we have a famous saying that failure is the stepping stone for success. When you identify that why we failed, what we are supposed to do, where we land behind, what the mistake we did, if you identify, we can succeed. Even Edison, after failing many times, he succeeded in inventing the 24 hour community. Failure is not a criteria. Medium is not a criteria. The first thing what we are supposed to do as an English teacher to the Telugu medium students is first we have to do the job of a counselor. We have to counsel them. We have to wipe out the what is called the meaning map from Telugu medium, map for in English. That is what the main drawback, main burden for a student in Telugu medium. That is why. Apart from teaching in different colleges, as Sir mentioned, I also taught from the basic level to the top level. I learned spoken English in school sometime. At that time, I taught to the retired people also spoken English. And I, so I taught from the 7th standard, 6th standard, even in some my schools of some my friends when they asked her, I, I taught even to the 4th, oh, oh, 5th students also some grammatical points. It doesn't matter. And some schools, the teachers are mentioning, I am teaching in school, uh, the secondary grade, uh, the, uh, so school assistant, the primary teacher, whatever it is, we are teachers. Either it is uh, primary teacher, secondary teacher, school assistant, the junior lecturer, lecturer, assistant professor, associate professor, professor, these are just designations. Ultimately, we are doing the same job that is teaching. We should not be lab teaching in the school. Most of these are engineering colleges, schools are degree colleges, schools are universities, it doesn't matter. That is what basically the South Indian think like that. I am from this level, my background is this. It doesn't matter how sincere our effort is. If our effort is sincere, we will be successful anywhere. First thing, we have to counsel the Telugu medium students to overcome that phobia. Literally, I, I counsel one or two classes in the spoken English that they join. So, learning English is easier than Telugu. That is what was the sentence I tell them. They don't believe. If you say English is easier than Telugu, nobody believe. I show them an example. I ask them, how many letters are there in English? They say 26. How many letters are in Telugu? They can't say sometimes. Only a few can say, few can say. Some of them even don't remember how many words are there in Telugu, but we believe that Telugu is easy. We remember very much there are 26 letters, we think that it is difficult. Because we, we think like that it is not our own language, we, it, is, it is not being spoken here and there, only in the course, classroom perspective. The two unfortunate thing is that medium is there in the title, but not in the actual process. In English medium schools also, in Telugu, what is called the background. Totally all the subjects are being taught in the regional language only. Only those are provided in English medium. They buy out it, they write it, and they write it more. It is not being done in English to English, even though English medium schools. So that is why there is no difference between Telugu medium school and English. Only difference is a little bit advanced because all the subjects they might have studied in. I tell them. 
See, learning 26 letters is easy and learning 56 letters is easy. Definitely it is very clear. Less letters is more comfortable. 26 letters is definitely easy. So that is the only example of which we can say that learning English is easy. Only why we are being difficult is that it is not being used all the time. 24 hours we are swimming in the ocean of Zulu. So we think that the is easy. English, under certain points called restriction, we are spending an hour or something like that in learning English. We are not speaking anywhere else. That is why we are very difficult. You just inculcate the habit of the practice in the language skills, which I am going to even touch upon over here. Because actually, if, if we want to give clear that orientation on how to build confidence, what is the scenario we have to inculcate with the students of Jehu medium, it needs a separate workshop for the discussion. But the thing is that if we encourage them to practice language skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing in day to day life, it will make them feel learning or speaking English is very easy. At least for a few minutes of time every day, they are supposed to listen something English. They are supposed to speak something English. They are supposed to write, read, write and think. My research is on that. So they have to concentrate on these language skills. Ultimately, they master over their life. This is what we are supposed to counsel them. Learning English is not at all a difficult task. Just because we are not concentrating maximum time on that, that is very difficult. Moreover, even though we know something, we hesitate to speak. Because we, we don't know whether it is right or wrong, something that hesitates. So first we have to vomit our water and this that inside. Then only we can operate whether it is right or wrong. First we have to speak out. Without that, we can't. In the student in Asia, institute, students come, elders even some, they think we come. Sir, at any cost, I have to speak in this right too. Whatever it is required. You don't require to be anything, you just have to speak out whatever you want. Where the requirement, what is the requirement? 
my kids, my children, they don't like anything else. They were 90. In total, they were scoring 90%, 93, 95,000. In 8th class, 7th class, whatever they might be studying over there. After the changing numbers, this is state syllabus, that is central syllabus, it is not ICS or something like that. And syllabus may be different, working environment is different, teaching environment is different, everything, learning style is different. Here everything is a school feeding. That makes the student lazy, that makes students impotential. When they expose it to the ICS syllabus, everything is self-learning attitude there. These people don't, don't know that. Even here, to write a paper of 50 marks, they are they giving 2 hours, 3 hours time. They are, for 50 marks paper, they are giving 30 minutes, 45 minutes time. They don't know that. They are simply writing and writing and writing, they have to I mean, relax over the paper. They got 20 less marks, they got 60% or something like that. They came crying to hope. You have paid the entire fee, it is like this. We want to do this and that, they are crying like anything else. I told them very clearly. See, you are not at all inferior to any student in your class. You are good. Where you are getting 90 percent. You don't know the system. You don't know the learning style. You don't know the, how to write an exam over here. That is what you are supposed to learn. And they are saying that nobody is coordinating. They are very uh, high attitude. It is not that right. Of course, you can't expect anybody like your friends in the body. At our home, everything is comfortable. We can't expect the same comfort zone in the working environment. This is what the real education you are going to learn. Everybody can learn what is there between the lines in a textbook. You can sit and close comfortably in your house, house, house in a sofa and you can read and you can learn. Real education is this you are supposed to learn. First you have to learn all the people are not equal. All the people may not be just like as your friends in Tokyo Bay. All of the people may not be just like as your parents in your home. You have to understand this situation. If you are going to be successful in Bangalore, you will be successful anywhere in the world. If you get back here, you cannot succeed anywhere. Even after going back to Tokyo you cannot be succeed over there. I am truly counseled that this is what we require. We do require. I actually I require that sort of counseling at that time. Sometimes I was shocked whether I can be in these classes or not. But whether I can put in this program or not. But immediately I just because I have all these sorts of experiences, I taught, I trained, so I, I just uh, counseled myself and I had a, a scientist of one or two very good to what is called guides to me. With that, I, I changed the attitude, the learning attitude, teaching attitude, whatever the everything will change. I counsel the kids like that. In the next subsequent exam, I told them, it's okay, I'm not bothering about that. So you just got 60%, that's enough. Next step, make it 60%. Next is 70. You need not bother about percentage, you just learn the learning strategy over here. How to be, how to learn, how to be, how to learn, how to write. Everything, whatever, wherever you, what is called the lag behind, you just concentrate yourself, strengthen yourself. For example, time was a problem to you because there you wrote three hours for 50 marks. Here you are supposed to write uh, just a 45 minutes for 50 marks. So you have to make it fast. You have to interpret that time. Nobody helps. You have to learn yourself. Always someone cannot help us. We are supposed to learn. Self-learning, that will be helpful in your life. If, if someone prepares everything and provides you, then can you learn to prepare yourself? It was not being done earlier, sir. That is why you are suffering now. Now you start that. I don't bother. I never ask you about your percentage. You just learn the things. You know the things. That's it. Ultimately, percentage is everything in this things. Now, they are going like um, very well. Everybody is, I told you. I see but the, even students are avoiding. Teachers are doing something like that. Okay, you don't bother about it. You do your work. You do sincerely. Next year, I'm telling today, next year, to check it, check it out. Everybody will appreciate you. Those students who are avoiding you will run behind you, I told That is what happened. Nowadays, everybody is coming and making friendship. Everybody is taking a boy. She, she is almost uh, the first few students in that in the class. See, if it is not given that proper counseling at the right time, definitely there might not be a wrong That is what we need for. 
It doesn't matter. Put it aside. It is only content for just for the examination sake. Each and every line, each and every context, we can use our skill as an English language teacher. We can anecdote. We can give the context. We can initiate how to use it, how to develop it. It doesn't matter if it is single or not. We can take a context. We can link it to the language. We can use that. Because we cannot change the textbook because it is related to so many high order processes and all those things. But if we get disappointed, it is not my property, how can I teach? We can't teach anything. Even though we don't like such a piece of essay, at least for the sake we have to prepare that properly. And we can link to that into our context. See, it is not just the teaching between the lines, what is there in the paragraph, reading it out, explaining it is not. How we can link it to the line, how we can link it to the language learning, how it can be, that is what their life the education is happening. We are supposed to teach each and every context, we have to give the examples, we have to give the anecdotes that can substantiate, that can satisfy the learner. Yes, this is what. I always teach the students that it is not just learning what is there in the text, prescribed the essay, the form, or whatever it is. What is behind that? What is the intention behind that? How it can be utilized? What is what is to be grasped and what is to be learned? There are many things. Good and evil. Everything is there in the world. We are supposed to identify which is good, which is evil, which is predictable, which is not which is. That is what. We are, we are not just to teach ourselves. We have to remember that, that, that there is a role that has been changed today. We are not teachers. Nobody likes teachers. If I teach something, then nobody likes today. We are just facilitators. We show them where to learn. People will be mentioning about there are students from local, there are students from uh, other background. So why, why we are using this? What is called basic level to a language, they do not get satisfied. When you go for a higher order language, these people may not satisfy. How can you balance? Yes. They, we are not supposed to teach them. We are supposed to facilitate them to participate, to make them participate in the activities. The teaching scenario is getting changed. It is not just teaching, it is initiating them to do the things, to participate in the things so that they can learn. So asking them to express what they use, what they might have understood, asking them to give a presentation. At the time, they can do something. Nowadays, a new pedagogy we are using flipped classroom. It is not. See, my second order she is just studying seventh class. So without teaching a lesson, the next lesson is one. So first three paragraphs, you have to come prepared and come give a seminar in the next class. But then there is a map. That is the changing scenario. In Germany, it was not like that. They used to teach, they knew the material, they have to find out the thing and reproduce. That was the same. But now, without teaching anything, this is the textbook, these are the three paragraphs you have to come prepared to the next class and your presentation. So, they just read that. If they don't understand, they may use internet, they may get some kind of feedback. If not, they contact with the parents or someone else who is available. Ultimately, they are learning something out of that and they are going to present. That makes them feel interesting. That is what self-learning. They don't depend upon any, anyone else afterwards. They can learn on their own. That is what requires companies. That is what we are supposed to understand. So, those are for advanced students which we are believing. Let them give a chance. They will be comfortable because there is a chance to execute my skill. They can prepare, they can do. When these are doing, other people, other students get motivated. They do get come forward. That is what real learning situation. It is not making them sit and that is called giving lecture and lecture. Nobody likes nowadays like that. Moreover, we can get a quick blast. Instead of shouting 60 minutes, uh, sometimes it is horrible. We work at the university, two hours a session. Two hours we are supposed to shout and shout and shout. It is a horrible situation for a language teacher. Because in other, like that, after doing something, they can let them do something and they can just relax. But we, 
if we are in the same chalk and chalk method or whatever it is which was followed 50 years back, it may not be acceptable today. But we cannot replace that at a point. We have to integrate both. We have to use the chalk and chalk. We have to use the internet tool. We have to use the technology. We have to use all the things integrated. Then only we can make our teaching relevant. Our teaching work, which is called suitable like that. So that is our thing. And teachers should talk teaching, stop teaching, then it stops well. That is all. Actually, most of the things which we discuss may be coming over there. Most of the concerns you express very well. That is fine. I just ask whether it is relevant to our discussion or not. See, always, already I mentioned, read and read and read, then only you will be doing it properly. That is what ultimate continuing professional does. How can we develop professionally? Read only. Without which, it cannot be. That is why when we stop learning, better to stop teaching. Teacher is the best learner for our We have to believe. I always say, even to the student, even to the train, wherever it is. I give so many trains as a soft skills trainer, there also. Teacher is the best learner. Before I teach something to the students, we learn prize. Without which we cannot teach it authenticated. If we are not sure about what we are saying, if we don't follow it, we can't teach. It is not a political order, a lecture. Just give to the listeners. A teacher has to be very careful that what we teach that should be practiced. Literally, literally I teach. See, that is what I teach, even to the students, even to the teachers. When we discuss, I never say that you have to lead, you have to do. We. I am also a teacher, just like just the place is different and standing over here. You are, I will sit. Even actually, that is why some people believe that I have attended, see so far, I have attended 36 conferences in national and international. I have published 40 papers in the national and international journals and books. So, I am not even being 30, 40, like guest lecturers are the training. Even today, there is a chance to listen to someone else's speaker. I literally sit over there. If I know that nine points which mentioned by a speaker, Already I knew 9 points out of 10, that's okay. The 10th point will be an added advantage to me. Next time, I can use that 10th point. So that is why there is no full stop in the teacher. That is why we have to read and read, learn and learn. Then only we will make ourselves effective presentators. Then only we can have command to teach the students. Next. Yeah, study to become study, yeah. We, we want to be steady in our profession. Uh, someone mentioned that. See, uh, after joining uh, teaching and all these things, they, they, they ask about uh, how many papers you published, how many seminars you attended, how many certificates you got, this and that. Instead of professional development, of course. For a paperwork, that is the professional development. Nowadays, see, for example, when you join, when you go for a promotion or a hike or something like that, where is your publication? Where is your conference? What is your contribution like? See, when someone has all these things, nothing will be done. Literally, during 2010 and 14, 2010 and 14, in these four years, I published about 32 papers. In four years, I published 32 papers with a great passion. When I attended an interview for an assistant professor job in NIT Student of Mangalore, National Institute of Technology, in the boardroom, there are about 20 people in the interview panel. The chairman asked me, how can you produce, how can you publish 32 papers in 10 years, in 4 years? Out of my passion. Before I don't, I don't know. After that, I realized the importance of this publication. I made it as my passion. I wrote it, I published it. Can you identify two or three best papers around their life? I can't. Why? Sir, 32 papers are my best ones. How can I say that this is best, this is worse? If it is worse, how can I write it? If we have two children, can we say best worst? Of course, depending upon their behavior, can sometimes we be. But giving birth and growing them, we don't have any discrimination. When we publish 30 papers, all are equal. If I think that something is good, then we have to 
produces. See, like that, even then, I published 30 papers, almost 25 seven workshops I attended, and all these things. In spite of that, I completed my MBA during that time, I completed my PhD during that time, and I completed four years of service in the same institute. I asked for a promotion to assistant to associate. They did not uh, talk about it. If someone doesn't have a single publication, they may question, you don't have even a single publication, how can you ask for a high degree? When I have 30 publications, two women, one master degree, one doctor degree, and four years service, nothing. Just to close, just to shut that question, we are supposed to produce all these things out. But I believe that, even though if these people are not able to identify the merit of publication, or the English or what is it, somewhere, someone definitely will appreciate in the identity That is what we have done last year. The Christ University, they recognize all my publications, all my work, all my identity. All of a sudden, they placed me in such a kind of way. I couldn't expect even that much of a package or whatever it might be. They calculated everything systematically. That is what, of course, see, for example, after that, if I got disappointed, why should I go back as a... That is the plan, man. Yes, I think I'm going to touch upon that. We are supposed to do our duty without expectation. God, Christmas, sir, in the world We are not supposed to concern about the result. What we are supposed to do, that is what we are supposed to do. Ultimately, result sometimes it comes. You must try to make yourself deserve it, but not desire it. If you deserve, if not here, somewhere else, definitely there will be a place, there will be a person to work. That is why we have to make ourselves up. study to become steady, read the words and work critically, that is what. We have different contexts, different situations, that is what. Critically, we have to study the word in a sense. Whatever we study is not just for reading. We have to identify the difference between reading and studying. People are using reading hours, reading hours. These are not reading hours, they are study hours. Read, we just read newspaper, just for the time of sleep. But study is different, in depth reading. Understanding, remembering, and researching over And word, it is not just looking like the word we have to Critically analyze the world, how the situation, why it is difficult, how can we go to For each and every problem, there will be a solution. When we discuss Robata, when we think Robata, we have to find out. That is what I have this sort of situation problem, how to overcome. We have to think. There is a saying I think of, you too might have got it. Uh, along with the law, he might have been invented. We have to identify where it is. We have lots of things over WhatsApp, but uh, I don't know whether they follow, whether they believe it or not, but they follow it. Sometimes they will do some good. Isn't it? Next. And knowledge means wisdom listens. Best thing is that whenever there is a chance, we are supposed to listen. It is not right to speak unnecessarily with the things, because a wise person listens. A knowledge person speaks, but first we have to make ourselves wise to listen. When we listen, we can understand the things and then we can speak better. Right? Next. Next. Yeah. See, none of this. What is teaching? What is the profession? See, is it just the teaching the text and the completing the syllabus and the doing the talks? Is, is it only uh, what is called the job of the teacher? What do we do? See, it is not just completing the syllabus. Nowadays, the teaching scenario, the requirement is uh, just changing. We have to take what we should be, what is called curriculum designers. It is not always pointing out someone else, it is not rightly prescribed the reason that whenever there is a chance, we have to utilize the right resources, the right sites, the right collections just to design the curriculum based upon the requirement. But many people take it as a, what is called a, 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 something, a, a, an obligation which has to be definitely carried out during some time like that. At the time, it has to be in place that the right text, the right things to be prescribed. Next. And curriculum enrichment. Right. So, 
En enrichment. When there is curriculum, there is chance to enrich it, to change it, to modify it. We are supposed, we the teachers are supposed to do that. If not all, at least some people definitely now, either today or tomorrow, some time we can get. After that we have to do that. We have to say, sometimes we may get this, what is called disappointed. Uh, sometimes when we give a solution, nobody accepts, nobody takes it. It doesn't matter. Let to them. Giving suggestion is the responsibility of a scholar, of an education. Whether it is accepted or rejected, it doesn't matter. We have to do the same continuously. One of my, uh, my what is called my uh, Kalim, Kalim Rai uh, guide, he used to say, I used to write and write and write and send papers such. Whether they are going to publish it or not, it doesn't matter. Only writing and sending is my job. And he published uh, many articles in the university news very parallel uh, journal that is published by the Association of Indian Universities. Mean that where Indian presidents uh, uh, like uh, they used to read articles, they used to come put articles into that journal. Magazine. My dream, I want to write in that. And he says like that. And it doesn't matter whether they are getting published or not. I want to express what I want. That's it. That is what doing our duty. Leave the main voice for rest whether it is getting published or not. Definitely, if it is worthwhile, if not today, someday definitely it will be accepted. Next. And IT and our teaching, yes, today, without using information technology, if we need something, it may not be accepted. Of course. E, in spite of all the constraints, definitely we are supposed to integrate information technology in the teaching so that we can make ourselves a bit. For example, without this PPT, I can teach better than I can present better than But today it has become an added advantage. Some people like it. So it may make it interesting to some people. So that is why, as it is available, we can. See, first time, when I, when I, when I joined in some engineering college in 2008, I think, uh, uh, at the time, I was very good present. Each and every point, I can write on, like the same point, I can write on the board, and I can explain very effectively. But they ask me, make a PPT. I don't know what a PPT at the time. <coughs> See, some computer uh, subject teacher, my, my first uh, help me first time. After doing one, oh, this one, I afterwards we used to do it. But I felt after that, yes, in spite of that added advantage, we can make use of it. So I can advantage. Next. So innovation, evaluation techniques. Evaluation day by day is changing. It is not just like that looking at the pages and giving the mark. Evaluation pattern changes. It is not only writing, it is a depending upon the skill set, or it's called the uh, exhibition, showing the skills, utilizing the skills, depends upon that we are supposed to evaluate. New techniques, new methods, innovation methods in uh, evaluation. Next. And understanding action research. Action research is all about uh, doing how we are experimenting something, how we teach the student, what is the activity we used, what is the improvement we can uh, ensure that. What is the development we witnessed over there? That is what, whatever the methodology which you use to teach in your context, doing research on Explain how you do. See, do you know, my first research paper of presentation and publication is on uh, LSRW, the key skills to develop communication skills. That is what years together I experimented in the spoken English class. As I told you, I literally ask them 15 minutes, you are supposed to listen something, either on radio or the TV or whatever it is, you have to listen something in English. Someone was mentioning uh, native, what is called, uh, the, what is uh, influence, mother tongue influence. So it is the best uh, what is called such that ask them to listen, listen and listen, either video or audio. If they listen a lot, they can understand. See, for example, listen, 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 which we use, right? Okay, this. See, when they catch it, oh, this word should not be pronounced like this. They have to follow it. All of a sudden, it cannot be changed. It's not just inserting a chip inside the mind. It has to be gradually improved. Definitely, we have native influence. Mother tongue influence will be there. But it has to be made what is called improved. It has to be overcome. How it can be? It is only by listening and listening and listening. Every day, if there is an artist, every day if they are able to identify 
one of two words of the can be exactly pronounced. They can develop after one year immediately 50% of the mother of Indians can be poor. Listening, that's it. Reading, you can understand things, but listening helps how to pronounce, where to improve. Is it like that? See? Next. Yeah, these are some of the things which we are supposed to follow. See, first thing is addressing technology. We have to like the technology because these are the days of technology, without which we cannot sustain even in this. So we have to see, for example, when we study in the schools and colleges, if we don't read it out of the world, all the way we have to go to the library or the other place, we have to purchase a dictionary, we have to turn the pages and we have to struggle to find out the meaning. Today, just simply in the Google, if you type a word, you can give the meaning, you can give the pronunciation and everything. Embrace it. So, we are using for everything technology. We have to use it, we have to admire it, we have to utilize it. Research approved. Each and every day. Research is important. Nowadays, nobody is bothering about the university level, what you are teaching, what you are researching. Where is your research work? On which you are research? What is your research paper? What is your research project? This is what big question, big concern. Nobody teaching what you taught in the classroom. Nobody bothers. What is the research you are doing? Research is the main asset of education. Even we are just satisfied, just teaching and they are just satisfied learning and learning. Not like that. What we learned out of that, what we identified, what we researched, that is what we require. Research approach. Research degree in English language teaching, of course. Sometimes, as someone mentioned, definitely for colleges and institutes and universities, certificates are achieved here. They have to show to the UGC. They have to show to the NAC. They have to show to the MBA. They have their own constraints. So, they need certificates, they need degrees, definitely we have to. Literally, I might have completed my, my, my PhD during 2000 only, before 2000. But at that time, I am now finding this important. What is that? How, why should I waste four five years in researching? I have to settle in life, I have to do jobs, this and that, like that, the college. But after uh, continuing my profession as a teacher, at the time of 2008 or 2009, I had it. If I am going to be in the teaching field for a works, what is doctor degree is essential. Sometime or the other, though I am capital, though I am local, though I am effective, but sometime or the other, what is your qualification? MA, no PhD, no doctorate, like that. Actually, everywhere, this is what I thought. I should not give a chance to someone else to point out. Throughout the four years, even though they have not increased a thousand rupees. But I published 30 papers because just to shut their mouth, you don't have publication. I just did that to shut their mouth, nobody should question, you don't have government degree. Others, depending on what their requirement they need, we have to do that. At the same time, while you are giving a degree, it should be valid. 